What is poppin' Genshin gang? It's your boy Mikey J and the mother up in place to be. And today we have another Genshin Impact video. Today we are going over who deserves your crown, your precious crown that you get from these events. And uh, before we hop into that, uh, I want to know who is a part of this 78% that's not subscribed but still watch my content. I gotta know. And I gotta know why you're not hitting that subscribe button. I'm gonna need that. I need that. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump into what we're doing. So today I have the top three characters that are deserving of the crown. And our first character is Klee. Now this, this list is of, you know, I, I put a little bit of thought into it, a little bit, but not a lot. There's really no math into this. This is this is depending on to my experience. So you can take this with a grain of salt or you can just throw it away or fight me about it. Hey, it is what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you why Klee is third on my list, why she's deserving of the crown. All right, so um, we have to look at her talents and obviously the talents take the crown or whatever. I was looking and I was using her today and I was like, she's like level 60 and she's just melting <laughs> the cryo registry. And I'm just like, wow, if I could get her charge attack to level six. No, it's actually at level six. If I can get it to level 10, that's almost 300% damage on a charge attack. That is really, really freaking good. Really insane. She's got so much utility and it's AOE. So she leaves the little bombs on the field and then you use the charge attack. It does the AOE pyro damage. Bro, she's, Klee's kind of busted. But uh, but we knew that, we knew that. Klee is actually busted. The, the one reason, because you can use Klee on pretty much any team, she is very squishy. She is very squishy, but she does a lot of damage. But like you level her talent up to, to level 10. And if you've got her constellations up, she can do even more damage. Can, and once you get the constellations up, she goes to 15 and that's 385%, bro. That's kind of crazy. Not even kind of, that's absolutely crazy. It's nuts, it's busted. But um, yeah, so Klee is the third in line. Let's go to number two. We gotta see our boy Tartalia. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, um, obviously it's not gonna be his charge attack because his charge attack is kind of ass, but we're going to be looking at Foul Legacy Raging Tide. Obviously his bread and butter. Now look at his charge attacks. 19 119% plus 142%. That's not even that's not even why you would want that at level 10. You know why you would want this at level 10? It's because of his Riptide slash. His Riptide slash what it does is, let me see, uh hitting an opponent affected by Riptide with melee attack unleashes a Riptide slash that deals AoE hydro damage. AoE uh damage dealt in this way is considered elemental skill damage and can only occur once every 1.5 seconds. After 30 seconds or when the ability is leashed again, the skill will end, Tartalia will return to his range stance, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, it goes from one, one enemy to the next one and it turns into AOE. Freaking crazy. Mine is at C3. I kind of went overboard with this guy. I, I actually, <laughs> I wanted Diona C6, but I ended up, I did get Diona C6 and um, I pulled three more of him in the process. So, uh, yeah, but this is like, this is like C0 stuff. So even with his, with this semi, sim, semi low rate here, the pay, the, the, the payoff is, is, is tremendous. He's definitely deserving of a crown for his elemental skill. So he's going to be at my number two. And the last one, of course, of course, of course, the lady, the myth, the legend, of course, it's got to be Ganyu. And it's going on her number one, her, her, her charge attack. Everybody knows what her charge attack does. If you don't know by now, you got to, you must be sleeping up under a rock. Look at the damage of her frost flake arrow and her frost flake bloom. If you have what C2, no C3, if you have a C3, that's going to jump up to level 13. 
which is 462% of your base attack. That's not even counting melt. That's not even counting elements of reactions. That's just the base attack. That's kind of crazy. 2000. What's quick? Huh? I, I, I dare not do quick maths on camera, <laughs> but I know that's just a lot. Because right now at level, what am I? Eight? She's at level eight, 204%. You hop that up to 200 and wait, 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 wait. Wrong number. 348% at level eight. You mark that up another almost 50%. And that's crazy. That's craziness. That's absolutely mental. It's busted. So all I'm saying is if you have more constellations that rank up the talent level, bro, you are absolutely in there. So, I mean, bro, these numbers are crazy. Like I don't fully like I full I understand like how 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 the numbers scale and whatnot, but going almost 400% over your base attack. So you have to you add in your base attack plus your elemental damage plus any type of elemental uh reactions that's going on and you got a huge number just from a charge shot which is crazy and that's not even taking into consideration your sets or anything this is all just base damage it's kind of nuts it's kind of wild but yes ganyu is definitely the number one pick for the most deserving character of your hard-earned crown so uh if you guys have any uh if you guys want to fight me about it in the comment section please go ahead do do me a favor comment the hell out of the comment section prove me wrong i want to be proved wrong in in in, in what what i'm saying here let me know if 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 i'm spitting or if i'm not because if i'm not then i need i need to see some facts you just can't come into the comment section and say hey you're wrong no, I need facts because from what I've noticed and what I've done in game, she's definitely deserving. Child is definitely deserving. And Klee is most surely deserving of that crown. Let me know if anybody else in the game can do better than what I've explained on this video here. But that's my time. I'm going to get up on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been your boy, Mikey J in the mother of place to be. Don't forget to subscribe, like, rate, comment and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Peace. <laughs>